Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question uh, titled, need help regarding the app I made. I figured I, I haven't talked too much about apps in a while. I figured I'd answer this this question here. So uh, so this uh, question is from Avinash, I think, or Avinash, Av Avinash. Avinash, I'm gonna go with. Anyway, uh, he says, uh, I have been regularly watching your videos and consider you as a mentor in my life. Uh, huge thanks for that. So I've been working hard over the past few weeks and its beta version is complete. I think he's referring to the app. Uh, I asked some of my friends to have a look at it and I've been receiving positive feedback. The platform is Android and I have learned how to include ads in my app. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to upload it on the Google Play Store, but before that, I want to know what should I aim while making the app free. I have read a lot of success stories on AdMob, but many people have become disappointed too despite their app having a large number of downloads and active users. I've also heard about using advertising networks other than AdMob. Would really appreciate your help. So, I'm gonna, I don't have specific experience here, but I'm going to address your question by uh, talking about a few different points. So first of all, you do not have all, you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket here. Don't assume, you know, I don't care how good this app is, that you're gonna be successful with this app. And I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound negative here. I realize how that's sounding as I'm saying it. But what I mean by this is that don't count on this app suddenly becoming, you know, the thing that makes you uh, rich and famous. It's probably not going to happen. But you could have success from I mean, you could make some money. But if this is your first app, don't bank on that. Instead, bank on this as being a learning experience, being something that is going to help you in your career and you're going to find your way. This is one stepping stone. Don't see this as the destination. See this as a stepping stone. That's what I'm trying to say. Right? Because you need to set the context right. You need to think about things in the correct way so that when you do move forward or whatever happens, you can interpret the results properly and not become disappointed or discouraged if things go bad and if things go really good, also so that you can reel yourself back in and realize that that there's probably some luck involved and, and you need to this is still a stepping stone. You're not there yet. Uh, you know, two dangers that can, that can happen. So that's the first thing I would say. Um, and just expect that you're probably gonna have to release like a bunch of apps. This is the first one. You're probably gonna have to do this a lot in order to be successful as an app developer. And that's okay, right? Most people don't ever hit it on the first try. I heard the story about Angry Birds, I think, and I forgot the developers of that. Maybe they did like 50 apps and then they finally hit on this Angry Birds app. So regardless, I think you know that's important to understand. I wanted to say that before I say anything else. Second, as far as ad mob and paid advertising and, and, and whatnot, the thing is this, there's a couple of things to consider. One, well, I don't know. I don't know which advertising platform or if, you know, or if this is gonna make sense. It, what, what you're saying, and you, I mean, you're doing the correct things, you're doing some research and that makes sense. And what I would say is try something and test it, look at the results and then try something. Else. Like, you're, you're not gonna know the answer and even if someone gave you the absolute answer, it might not. It might work for them, but not for you, right? So, so you've done due diligence, and and you've researched, and you're going to try AdMob. Go for it and see and record the results, and then maybe do another experiment and try a different ad network and see how that goes. Again, this all ties back to the stepping stone. If you view this as a stepping stone, right, then you're not going to expect to hit a home run. Instead, you're gonna use this as a testing platform. You can try these other things. If you view this as the destination, you're gonna be worried to mess around and to test things out because you've gotta make it big with this big, with this one thing. So test it, try different things. Maybe try paid versus advertising versus whatever you can do and try different ad networks or different ways of, of putting the ads in your app and see what works. And you might try new apps and different apps and see how that, you're just gonna have to test and respond, right? Don't expect to just like pick the perfect configuration of things and then expect it all to work out. That's where people get discouraged. That's where they stop trying. A lot of things that I do, I test things out and a lot of times they don't work and then I move on to the next thing. And it's hard, It's actually hard for me to do, right? I'm giving you this advice. I need to be giving myself this advice a lot of times because a lot of times I wanna get it all perfect the first time. I wanna figure out all the answers. And a lot of time the answer is 
I don't know, no one knows. You're gonna find out by testing it, seeing what doesn't work, and then figuring out what does work. And then there's just no way around it. It's, it's a long process. So anyway, I wish you the best on this. I'm glad that you're taking action, that you're doing something that's awesome. Uh, keep it up. Let me know how it goes. Give me some, some results and let me know what you learn about this process. Anyway, hopefully that helps you. Uh, if you uh, like this advice, if you like this channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 50,000 goal in, in a year here. So, uh, so we'll see if we can do it. Take care.